Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you're able to unlock your Android device even when the screen is completely black with your fingerprint reader. Now, Samsung has been doing this for quite some time now. I will actually cover this one second just to show you where you can find this setting. If you would like to have your screen all the way off, just like this, you tap on your little fingerprint scanner and then it unlocks. So I'll show you where those settings are, but we'll actually first cover it here on the Pixel because this is a brand new feature. So when you have a Google Pixel 9 device, it's already there stock out of box. But if you are part of the beta program, which is Android 16 beta three, it is now available on the past devices going all the way down to the Pixel 6. Now, I wasn't aware of this when the Android 16 beta three came out just because right now this is the only phone that I have that is running on the beta program, which is the Google Pixel 9 series. But I was reading an article where it states the past devices is allowed to do this now. So I'm going to share it with you. Pretty much all you got to do is head right inside of your settings. Once you go inside of your settings, then you're going to scroll down you go to security and privacy. And then here you go to the device unlock. And this is where you go to face and fingerprint unlock. This is where you put in your pin. And once you've put in those credentials, you go right here to fingerprint unlock. And here is your option. Now, as I stated from before, this is already doable here on the Google Pixel 9 series, but it was also introduced to the past devices on Android 16 beta 3. Pretty much all you have to do is just turn this thing on. It allows you to use your fingerprint unlock even when the screen is off. Now, most of you will probably, you know, touch the screen, turn it on to where you can see where it is. You put in your fingerprint and then it unlocks. As long as you know where it is, just from kind of muscle memory, you can unlock it just by pulling it out of your pocket or if it's just sitting on the table, the screen has been completely black. Uh, it's just waiting for your fingerprint to pretty much be picked up and then you're able to unlock it. Now that's pretty much all I wanted to cover there on the Pixel. Now let's do the exact same thing over here on your Samsung because maybe you didn't know that there's quite a few settings that is embedded with the fingerprint scanner as well as your face recognition and everything else. So let me show you where you can find the these settings. All you got to do is head right inside of the settings. You're going to scroll down and you're going to take a look at security and privacy. And then inside of here, you're going to go to that screen lock and biometrics. This is where here you put in your pin. And once you've done that, now you can go down here to that face recognition or fingerprints. Now, if you go inside of the fingerprints, uh, you can see that I have a few of them set up. So I have it set up for both of my thumbs. So actually in this one profile is my left and my right thumb. Also have my right index where if I use my right index, it'll actually open up a application called Whiteout Survival. And then if I use my left index, it'll actually just go right inside of my YouTube studio. Now down over here is where you have your options, which is fingerprint always on. So it can scan your fingerprint even when the screen is off. And then you can show the icon when the screen is off and you can set it if you want it to be like on, always on display, tap to show or never. And then you also have show animation when unlocking. So if you wanted to go inside your phone without an animation, you can do that. Now, here's another thing that maybe you didn't know. If you go back inside of your biometrics for your face recognition, there's a few things that you can actually turn on here. So for this one, you can either just turn on or off your face unlock. This one right here is if you're used to an iPhone where if you scan your face, it'll stay on the lock screen until swipe, which for me makes no sense if I'm going to be unlocking my device. I want it to go to my home screens, not stay on the lock screen. But if you like that, you can turn this one right back on. You can also make it to where it requires the eyes open. So if you are sleeping and your spouse wants to try to unlock your phone and your eyes are shut, it's not going to unlock. So you can have this option right there. And this one I definitely turn off because maybe sometimes if I'm laying in bed and I'm about to unlock my phone and it's maybe midnight, I don't want to wake up the spouse with a brighter screen. Or if you're at a movie theater and you just want to look at your phone really quick just to see maybe what the time was, but because you have the brightened screen on and you have face unlock on, pretty much it's going to really brighten the screen just to unlock it. So I always have this one off just because I, I'm, I'm aware of my surroundings and I don't want to bother people. So there is a few settings inside of here for your face recognition that maybe you've never played with. And you can also add a alternative appearance as well. So if you wanna throw on a hat or throw on sunglasses, or 
Maybe you are a female and either there's a day that you wear no makeup and then there's a day that you wear makeup. And if your appearance changes just enough to where it thinks it's somebody else, you can set up one appearance with makeup and one appearance without makeup. So this way you can have it unlock for you with an alternate appearance. So that is all I really wanted to share in today's video. So pretty much now, if you own a Samsung phone or a Google Pixel 9 series device, or a older Pixel device with Android 16 Beta 3. You can unlock your phone when the screen is off. So that is all I wanted to share in today's video. If you guys appreciated it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.